so if uh, anybody interested in same if any of your friends is interested in so they can get a 30 percent discount on the course if they want to join it so now let's uh, so I think I'm done with the layout portion here here this here this is the layout, uh, part that we had in layouts so let's just talk for 10 minutes as to what all you might feel like or you want what you would want to discuss with me or what all you might be facing some problems you might be facing some queries you can just ask me the queries if you want you can, I can also allow you to speak so if anybody anyone wants to speak on the with everyone you can just raise your hands or you can write on the chat window how are you feeling this courses how you feel that you can learn from this course and how you can actually improve upon so or if you have any questions, any queries, or any context that you want to actually tell me or you want to ask me, you can just write on the chat window. Here, Harpreet has a question here. Can we bind any touch or click listener to any layout? Yes, Harpreet, very very similar to the say widgets that we have in Android. You can always have the touch or click listeners on the layouts as well. So any person who has any more queries, any more doubts apart from Harpreet, Harpreet is this clear to you? We can always have the on-click listeners on the layouts as well. So that is not uh, something which is very limited to the widgets only. Any other questions coming up from these all the attendees that I have? I have got a hand raised. I'll just see. Abhinash has got his hand raised. So, Abhinash, you can just write on the chat window what all you want to discuss here. So that we, if you want to speak, I can allow you to speak. Okay, I'll allow you to speak. I'll just let you speak, uh, Abhinash. Here. I'll unmute you. I just uh, before unmuting, I want to make it, ensure Abhinash that there is no background noise coming up from your end. So just if you if there is all this is all fine, you can just write on the chat window. So I'll allow you to speak. Okay. So Abhinash, you can speak now. Uh, uh, so actually, uh, just now you were asking me regarding layouts. Yeah. Uh, so like uh, changing the changing it to vertical. I mean uh, the Android device that's a mobile, right? So right. if you change the position in the mobile, like it sends the gravity, and according to it, it changes its layout to vertical or horizontal. So it does okay. it do it automatically, or do we have to change it? No, it I does mean, automatically. Hard coding. No, it, it, it automatically does it automatically. So in order to support various orientations, suppose what we have is we have the smaller view in the uh, say landscape mode wherein the screen size gets enlarged width wise but the height wise the uh, screen size is shortened. So in this particular case what we can have is we can have different layouts that support for say portrait orientation and different layouts that support for the Landscape or orientation. Like uh, we do not have to uh, include any kind of packages or any layouts for that particular. No, we don't need to. Uh, and even if you want, say, you want to restrict the orientation changes, so you can restrict your activity to support only one orientation. That is, either it can support the portrait orientation or it can, it can support the, uh, say, landscape orientation. You can all do that. So that is very sim simple thing. You just need to put an attribute in the layout manifest along with the activity that this mode you want to support in your app. Example. I mean, where exactly I have to do that. I'll just show it to you. 
So this is all that you wanted to know, Abhinash. Is there anything yeah, else that you want to? No, no, that, that's that's all. Okay, I'll just show it to you here. So let's just quickly take a look at Abhinash's query here. I just go to the Android manifest here. I go to the activity here. And I can have here the orientation support here. Now quickly, I'll just do it. I say, I'll just see what is it? It's, it says screen orientation here, and I can set it to say portrait. So, irrespective of my device orientation now, it will always be in the portrait mode. I'll just show it to you here. So as you can see here, this is the orientation change that we have here. Irrespective of the device now, the screen will always be supported in the portrait mode. I hope this is clear to everyone now. Abhishek is saying, what about the text? Abhishek, I just showed it to you. Let me just go through it again. So since I have run this, here you can see here, this is the complete text. Now if I switch the orientation here, if I switch the orientation here, here you can see the screen is only supported in the portrait mode. Now what I'll do here is, I'll just change this orientation support. I'll just remove that, remove this from here. Now you'll see the change here. Try to run this application here. Since this is in landscape mode, so this is how it looks in the portrait mode. And when I, when I change it to the landscape mode, it automatically changes into the landscape mode. So this is the difference if I'm actually, say, bounding the orientation. I can support only the portrait orientation, then the view view does not change because it is actually the activity is supported for only portrait orientation. So this is the difference between both. I also had one question from, I'll just see. Ah, yes, I had a question from Mohit Dikshit here. Sir, in red view, why we use array adapters. So Mohit, as I showed you, there needs to be some data pumping onto the grid view, very similar to the way we had the data pumping for the list view. So that is why we need the, we need the array adapter so that we can pass in the data to the grid view or to the list view. So that is why we use an array adapter for it. Is this clear to you now? Uh, Abhinash is telling, asking me, can you tell me how are you changing the simulator to landscape or portrait? There's a shortcut for it here, uh, which says control plus F11, which you can utilize here. You can just try it yourself, control F11 and the orientation will automatically change when the simulator is in view. There's another shortcut for it. You have to keep the numlock off and then you can press the seven key, which will change the orientation of the device. 